Hello guys, welcome back to another Revisiting and today we are revisiting Doom. Yes, Doom or Doom Part 1, whatever it is now called. It's been back in cinemas, um, obviously Doom Part 2 is coming out very very soon so stay tuned for that review. But I actually, this is a mad one because I actually did the channel when Doom was in the cinema so I've done a Doom review so if you want to see my review from 2021 go back and watch it I think I gave it around a three three and a half star at the time I wasn't really a fan of it but the more I've watched Doom you'll see the more that this is where the revisiting comes in my journey has got better with it yes yeah, so going to see Doom then I went to see it in super screen and it was amazing it sounded amazing it looked amazing and I cannot wait to see the next Doom movie now at the end of this they did have like a special screening thing of the set of the second movie so there was like a five minute scene or something that they showed which was really interesting and after just watching the first one it, it looked amazing like in terms of like the actual cgi was brilliant in the first one but the second one just looked awesome as well so and like even better like the technology has just come on so much in like two three years it's mad obviously timothy chalamet stars in the first doom movie and um, he's like the main character in the film and he is playing paul atreides of house atreides his father is oscar isaac who is like the duke and then rebecca ferguson is playing the lady again i forget how good these performances are because even oscar isaac's performance i think is brilliant it's very underrated in my opinion um the star of the show though for me is um stellan skarsgård who actually plays baron vladimir um of house House Harkonnen, Harkonnen and he's brilliant in this like you've seen him in Andor and stuff and, and like what he is now is just it's, uh, it's unrecognizable it's just brill. We also get Zendaya, Jason Momoa you know it's a, it is a star-studded cast you know Josh Brolin, Dave Bautista it is a star-studded cast in this film but we don't get to see most of those characters there especially Zendaya she's not really in the movie until like the end of the film but even then She's not going to have a big role until Dune Part 2, which is exciting. So revisiting Dune, I thought, like I said, it, it's like one of those sci-fi Game of Thrones where you got all these like houses and stuff and all on different planets. It's all to do with this planet Arrakis, which has like spice mines and stuff like that. And they want to like mine the spice, sell the spice, because the spice actually is worth a lot of money and it fuels a lot of like ships and stuff like that. Then you've got Zendaya's like clan that like basically with Javier Bardem's character and they are all just like living, like they're like natives, if you will. And you've got these off-worlders that are coming onto the world and it's all that kind of thing it's very similar to like game of thrones in terms of territory and taking territory and stuff and obviously with the part two now we're going to be getting like a massive battle happening and it's really exciting if you haven't seen dune and you get the chance to see it in the cinema i would highly recommend you do it but if you don't get the chance to see it in the cinema watch it it's amazing you'll still enjoy it at home so re-watching dune what did i score it well i actually gave it a four and a half star i went all in on dune i really enjoyed it the second time round the first time i saw it i remember i didn't see it in super screen and since like 2021 I have realized that super screen in the Newport Cine world that I go to is much better than the other screens like I saw the Batman in one screen then saw in super screen the next and it was just the super screen was amazing even just the contrast levels of like the color grading and stuff it just looked a lot better and not to mention sounded better so super screen for me was like the way to go when I saw Dune was there in super screen I was like I have to go and see you in super screen I have to experience it again in the cinema I'm glad I did it was a really good experience I went to see it on the same night I saw Iron Claw so I saw two movies back to back very different movies um but doom was just wow i was just blown away four and a half star Denis Villeneuve really excited really looking forward to the next one like i say i rated the last one three and a half star um so in two years i've actually jumped my score up by a star because i am now a dune fan but there it is guys there is my review and revisiting of dune go and check it out look forward to the next one and of course please do subscribe if you can't wait to see dune part two's review thanks for watching guys stay tuned for more and i'll see you in the next one goodbye